Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this endless spiral candy cane wine tote. And what I love about this pattern is we aren't going to be cutting and tying off our yarn every time we change colors. It's just going to flow seamlessly. So you should only have to deal with two starting and two ending tails. And this candy cane swirl wine tote is a part of my four skein challenge where I see how many unique Christmas items I can crochet using only four skeins of yarn. So for the rest of the projects in my four skein challenge, check the links in the description. And for this project, I'm working with size four medium weight acrylic yarn. And these are both the Big Twist Value brand and the colors are Varsity Red and Cream. And I'm also going to be using a size F or 5 or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And you're going to want a scrap piece of yarn or a stitch marker for this. We're going to begin with a magic circle. So we're going to drape our tail over our working yarn and insert our crochet hook from the bottom up. Then we're just going to yarn over and pull through our loop. And when working in your magic circle, make sure you work over your tail as well as in the loop. And we're going to begin by chaining one and then we're going to place one single crochet and five double crochets. And now we're going to pull out our yarn, but we're not going to tie it off. So we won't be tying off any yarn, so that means we won't have to hide any tails, which I'm really excited about. But we are going to be kind of working two continuous loop patterns on top of each other. And I promise it sounds a lot more confusing than it actually is. So go ahead and pull this out nice and long and remove your crochet hook. And now we're going to attach the red yarn to our crochet hook with a slip knot. So to tie a slip knot, you're going to twist your working yarn over your tail and insert your index finger and thumb in that gap and pull your working yarn through the loop. Then kind of pull on your tail and working yarn. Then you're just going to insert your crochet hook and tighten up your slip knot. And now we're going to be working right in this same magic circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert our crochet hook, yarn over and pull up. Then we're just going to yarn over and drop those two loops for a single crochet. And now we're going to add five more double crochets to our magic circle. And when you're done, you should have a total of 12 stitches. And after you've added your five double crochets, go ahead and pull on your tail to tighten the gap in your magic circle. And we're going to skip our chain and diving right into our first single crochet, we're going to place two double crochets. And sometimes that stitch can be a little tight. And once you have your two double crochets in place, we're going to insert our crochet hook in that first double crochet. And we're going to place a stitch marker or a scrap piece of yarn there. And now we're going to place two double crochets in our remaining five cream stitches. And right here at the very end, this does count as one of your stitches. Thank you. 
And now we're going to pull our red yarn out. And you can always tighten up your magic circle if it starts to get loose by pulling on that tail again. We're going to insert our crochet hook in our cream loop. And diving right into our first single crochet stitch with our red yarn, we're going to place two double crochets. And we're going to place two double crochets in each of the stitches until we reach our stitch marker. And you should have 24 double crochets from your stitch marker to the end of your red yarn and then the beginning of your cream yarn to the end of your cream yarn. And so from here we're going to remove our stitch marker and we're going to place one double crochet in our first stitch and then two double crochets in our second stitch but we're going to place a stitch marker in that very first stitch of this new row. And that's that first double crochet where we just placed one double crochet. And we're going to alternate between placing one and two double crochets going all the way around our row until we get to the end of our red yarn. And again, when you get to your last red stitch, then you're going to pull your cream stitch out and insert your crochet hook in your red loop. And we're going to follow that same pattern of alternating between one and two double crochets until we get back to our stitch marker. And at the end of our row, we should have a total of 36 double crochets. And that was our last row of increasing. So you don't really need your stitch marker from here. From here, we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch in each row. And we're going to continue to crochet in this spiral over our colors. So basically, you can do this however you want. If you want to place a section of red double crochets and then a section of cream, that would probably be easier than working in this very last stitch every time because it doesn't really matter. You're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch in each row. And that is going to be it while we build the body of our wine tote. So whenever you want to, you can switch off between the two colors. You can just play around with it and just keep switching off whenever you feel like it. And I went ahead and followed my pattern until I had a total of 24 rows. So now we're going to make the handles. And the first thing you need to note about making the handles is you really want your two different yarn colors to be on completely opposite edges. So each should have 18 double crochets. So go ahead and work your two colors until each of these colors has 18 stitches here. So go ahead and insert your crochet hook in your cream colored yarn and chain nine. Then you're going to skip nine stitches. So this last stitch where we placed a double crochet does not count, so we're going to skip nine new stitches. And in your 10th stitch, you're going to place a double crochet. And I'm going to place a double crochet in my next couple of stitches. 
just so I can make sure that I don't lose my chain. Then I'm going to pull out my yarn and then insert your crochet hook in your red color and chain nine again. And again, we're going to skip nine stitches and place a double crochet in our 10th. And then we're going to place one double crochet in these stitches between our handles. So you should have eight more double crochets when you reach your first handle. And just for the sake of symmetry, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my double crochets with my first color until I get to my second handle. So at this point, we should have two sets of nine chains and then two sets of double crochets and these should each be in opposite colors. So I'm going to work back in my cream colored yarn again, and what we're going to do is we're going to place nine single crochets over the chain stitches that form our handles. So to do that, insert your crochet hook between your wine tote and your handle, and then yarn over and pull up through. Then just yarn over and drop your two loops. So we're going to repeat that going all the way down our first handle and we should have a total of nine single crochets when we're done. And then when you reach your red double crochet stitches you're going to place one single crochet in each of them. And this very first double crochet can get a little bit hidden as you can see it's really tiny so you really want to make sure that you don't accidentally skip that one. So go ahead and place your single crochet stitches and I'm not going to go all the way till I get to the end of my red but just about halfway just like I did before. Now I'm going to pull out my crochet hook. And so now we're just going to repeat that process over here with our red colored yarn so we're going to place nine single crochets over the chain stitches that form our handle. And again, we're going to place one single crochet in these double crochet stitches between our handles. And so from here, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch in our row. So as you can see here, we should just be able to crochet right into the single crochet stitches over our handles. And we're just going to continue to switch colors, just like we did for our double crochet stitches going up the wine tote. And we're just going to repeat this process to build the body of our handles. And I went ahead and added four rows of single crochets to the top of my handles. And so to finish this off, make sure you've ended both of your colors at the end of your handles. And they should be 18 stitches apart, just like before. So here you can see I've lined my last single crochet stitch up with the edge of my handle on both sides. And all you're going to do to finish this off is place one slip stitch in your next nine stitches, so the stitches between your handles. And make sure that you don't over tighten these. You don't want them to be loose, but you don't want them to be too tight either. You want to be able to get your wine bottle in. And once you have your nine slip stitches in place, it should look something like this. So now we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I am going to weave my tail down the inside of my wine tote, but before I do that, I'm going to finish off my red color yarn. And we're going to do that the exact same way. So we're going to place one slip stitch in the nine stitches between our other set of handles. And once you have your nine red slip stitches, then we're going to cut and tie that yarn off as well.
and I am going to turn this inside out. So I'm going to hide my tails on the outside of my wine tote, and then I'm going to just tie these starting tails together. And after inserting your wine bottle, it should look something like this. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this, and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me, and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.